Uh, in this video lecture, I will discuss about the BH curve analysis and a related concept. Uh, physical and mathematical concepts uh, are included here and this topic as you know comes into the magnetic material. Uh, myself, uh, Susil Kumar and here I will discuss with you some supporting physical concept uh, that basically I denote by SPCs. So what are those? Number one, magnetic dipole moment. Uh, this information should be very clear to you uh, to understand the magnetic material chapter. Uh, here, as you know, the formula is mu is equal to I into A. Mu is a vector quantity, I current and A area of the current loop. The second supporting physical concept is magnetic flux density and intensity concept and the difference between them. So, these are denoted by B and H. Intensity of magnetization is the second concept and that is denoted by the I here is equal to capital M upon V that is the volume. Capital M is the magnetic moments overall of the specimen which you have taken. Also concept of electromagnet uh, is required in case of BH car. Right uh, so here you can see what is an electromagnet. Uh, or you know, right now this is a coil right so in this coil when you provide the alternate current the direction basically changes with respect to the cycle so this half cycle is a positive direction and this lower cycle is denoted by the negative cycle intensity or the value of the current is here maximum i naught and downside is minus i naught in addition to this is uh, concept uh, there is one more important concept here and the difference between them uh, you should be aware uh, right that is b is equal to mu naught h and second time i write b is equal to mu naught mu h and second time i write b is equal to mu h so uh, b is equal to mu naught h this relationship uh, is linear right and b is equal to mu h here is basically depends on the uh, permeability of the material right here permeability of the free space uh, and uh, this mu is the permeability of any medium right so this ratio b upon h can define the value of mu and uh, second, uh, third point at this point b is equal to mu naught h plus m right uh, this is the standard formula and this b here is used to define the uh, magnetic flux inside the material right and uh, that is equal to mu naught h plus m here h is the external magnetic field strength and uh, m is the magnetization so here if i have to put the value of b b is equal to this one this is true that the magnetic material is magnetized in the presence of external magnetic field if i put the value of b that is equal to mu h right so here you can get an idea that this b uh, is the magnetic flux density inside the material right and the refractive index of that material is mu so if uh, you have to define or explain or anything else uh, so you should be aware about to these formula that where uh, you have to that particular formula b is equal to mu naught h or b is equal to mu h or like this b is equal to mu naught h plus m so these were the physical concept uh, which are required to understand this topic so here first of all i have mentioned here the classical theory of magnetism ferromagnetism classical theory of uh, ferromagnetism uh, ferromagnetic materials like iron nickel cobalt like that so here when we put uh, any substance in the presence of uniform external magnetic field we say that the magnetic materials becomes magnetized 
right initially you can think that uh, these arrow basically denote the magnetic moment direction and these magnetic moments are uh, in a random direction and right now there is no external field but when you apply a weak magnetic field then what happens these magnetic dipole moments uh, try to align in the external magnetic field direction you can see here but uh, which magnetic dipoles are uh, perpendicular to the applied magnetic field direction they need more strength of external magnetic field direction or uh, magnitude to bring them in uh, the direction of uh, h that is the magnetic field direction right now in this case c you see that uh, the intensity has been increased and because of that all the magnetic dipoles uh, has been aligned in the particular direction but still some magnetic dipoles are uh, aligned in a different direction so for that what we will do we will just provide the maximum magnetic field and as a result uh, of that uh, all the magnetic dipoles align in a particular direction so question is that uh, in which case you observe b is zero b is zero b magnetic flux density the case one the case two case three or case four right so b is maximum b is maximum means magnetic flux is maximum in which case you as you observe in the last case d all the magnetic dipoles are aligned in a particular direction that means if i denote uh, this arrow uh, head north and tail to the south so you can say that all magnetic dipoles if align in this situation so this section will be represent to the north side and this will be the s side this end of the specimen and by this way the magnetic material is completely uh, magnetized here uh, this is also magnetized but the intensity of magnetization is lower as compared to this one and similarly here the intensity of magnetization is very low as compared to the picture c and in this case all the magnetic dipoles are aligned in a different direction so all uh, the result of vector addition of all these magnetic dipoles remains zero so this is one of the important concept which uh, one use into the classical theory of ferromagnetism of uh, here i have just used the curve between i and h and uh, uh, to explain it uh, basically uh, one more information uh, will be required that is called domain and domains are the small region inside the materials for an example here you can see these four boxes actually represent the domain this is one domain second third and domain and each domain have their own specific direction so a for this domain the direction is this one for this uh, domain direction is uh, like that and uh, similarly to when you apply the magnetic uh, field and the pull or you can say that uh, one when put the uh, material magnetic material in the presence of external magnetic field and you increases the intensity of external magnetic field how basically these domains behave all right that is, example is given here so in the second picture you can see that uh, um, magnetic uh, moments area in a particular direction has been increases right and uh, in the last case this one when the magnetic field intensity was sufficient to align all the magnetic dipoles in a particular direction so um, this is the case and how basically one can show it uh, graphically in terms of the intensity of magnetization and external field intensity that is h right uh, here uh, one more important you have to keep in your mind that each domain contains 10 raised power 17 to 10 raised power 22 mag uh, atoms and correspond to each atom there is a magnetic dipole right and uh, volume of each domain remains 10 raised power minus 6 cubic centimeter to 10 raised power minus 2 cubic centimeter uh, here when uh, you see this uh, graphical behavior between the i and h 
right so there are some section though defined by point wise uh, this is p point up to 0 to p or you can say from origin to the up to p uh, b symbol is written here and weak magnetic field reversible this is written it means uh, when magnetic field strength is up to this order right this is the magnetic field strength so at this magnetic field strength uh, the magnetic dipole moments actually when you replace the external magnetic field what happens they comes on their own position so situation is uh, reversible so here a weak magnetic field but uh, when you uh, reach beyond this limit and uh, up to here so this is a reversible uh, position right so uh, right now the uh, between this region of the external magnetic field if you apply the magnetic field between this range to this one uh, the domain boundary basically doesn't come in their original situation right uh, so that situation you observe like this and uh, in picture c which i will show you again as you have seen in the last slide and when you reach from uh, q to this r at a sufficient uh, intensity of the external magnetic field the time all the magnetic uh, domains actually align in a particular direction and they rotate uh, you can say of uh, domains in the direction of magnetic field so this kind of situation so let me show you that uh, earlier picture which i was discussing with you that in the absence of external magnetic field random direction uh, these magnetic dipoles are oriented in random direction so in case of ferromagnetism uh, we define that in terms of domain so you can take it an example um, for one domain and uh, when you increase the intensity this kind of situation appear and uh, at sufficient strong magnetic field all the uh, magnetic dipole moments basically will align and here this is the curve and this curve is in between i and h right so remember it uh, this is the classical theory of ferromagnetism and uh, with together it i want to say here one more important information of bh curve and uh, most of the part of it i will conclude in the next video so here i am just trying to give an, a basic idea that is of bh curve so here in this topic you will learn hysteresis what is that hysteresis and non-linear relationship between b and h one observe right otherwise uh, b is directly proportional to h as you can see from b is equal to mu naught h because mu naught is a constant uh, for the free space right so here uh, the y-axis is taken b and x-axis is taken h so from this point of view how b h and curve this curve basically from what this b maximum value is and opposite side this minus b r and uh, this particular point here p what are these and what are the meaning of this this i will discuss in the next video so thanks for watching this video i hope uh, if, uh, you will get the idea so uh, if by chance you find any problem and you you can ask the question so thanks